start recording. Um, hello. Okay, I'm good. Um, Eva. Hello, hello. Like, welcome. Yes, y'all. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Beautiful. yeah. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Renny. I like peanut butter toast. It tastes so good. Oh my god, peanut, peanut butter, butter toast. Peanut butter toast is, does rock. Bunny. Penis. Penis, penis. Penis tastes so good. Penis. Okay. Uh, That's a take. I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know about tasting good, but, you know. <laughs> it was got peanut butter on it. It's pretty good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, my God. I almost spit out my drink. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Y'all are horrible. Hello and welcome to episode 29 of the broadcast. I'm Bunny and with me is Mama Zali. Hi. And her monkey's jumping on the bed. <laughs> really? <laughs> we have Miss Eva and Miss Rennie. <laughs> Hi. You're true. not wrong. You're trouble. All of y'all, trouble. <laughs> so, how are you ladies doing this week? It's been a while since we recorded an episode. Yeah, yeah. too yeah. long. <laughs> hey, we said it's either if we're dying or what, we're going to still record. All yes. right, we gotta. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I don't know. I've, I've kind of been liking our live streams, but I do miss the, doing the recordings. So, yeah, here mm -hmm. we are, and I've got something to edit finally. So, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> True. I mean, I don't know. I mean, me personally, I do like live streams better. But I mm -hmm. like the fact that we do recording stuff, too, that we're not just live streamers. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I like the edited stuff out there. Um, mm -hmm. Bunny, when is your next episode coming out of the podcast you started? Yeah. Hey. We're recording it tomorrow night, and then it should be ready Saturday. Nice. Hey, let's go. Nice. <laughs> I'm finally coming back from my break, and that will be Saturday night. Don't know what it's going to be yet, but we'll we'll find that out later on this evening um excellent <laughs> yeah heck yeah um i can't wait for my sweatshirt of eva's to come in i'm waiting for that sweatshirt to come in i'm so excited about that sweatshirt. Ooh, yeah thank you again that is so awesome i'm just waiting for like a decent pay so i can get everything <laughs> like right? and, like you know from the broadcast and from Zylie and like i just mm -hmm. like there's so many things that i want to get like it's unreal. You know, I right, still like haven't what? bought Broad McCast merch. I still haven't done it. Um, Me either. Too. I'm going to though. Rennie, I'm definitely getting that synthwave one. Yes. Yeah. Oh my no, that synthwave one is going to be mine. Mm. It is going yeah. to be mine. So cool. Yes. Rennie, when are you live streaming again? Um, I need to research a couple topics. Okay. I kinda wanna go over the two mad stuff. Uh, just because there's still been more stuff and it seems like he's been doing more incriminating stuff on like Turkey Tom streams and it seems really stupid and funny. So I might go after go after that. So Okay, we'll cool. cool. Uh, Hell yeah. Exciting. Nothing wrong with that. That too mad story, uh, for me personally, I can't cover it. Mm -hmm. I cannot yeah. cover it. Um with too mad, I it's just uh mm, it hits a little too close to home with how he acts yeah. and stuff, so I can't cover it. It. Not yeah, me. I'm probably just gonna point, laugh, and call him a fucking retard. So you know, that's yeah, always acceptable, and that works, you know. Especially Absolutely. This so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely, hundred percent. Okay, so um, we have some stories to go over tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, I I guess the thing is for artists to throw things at the um crowd now. It really yeah. is art. Yeah. It's, turn, it's turned around. Like, it started out with the crowd throwing stuff at the artists, and the artists are like, going, no, nah, F this. It's your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, can't, <laughs> I can't remember if we covered it here on the broadcast or if I just saw it on TikTok, but I just always remember, like, Adele, I think she was like saying, no, nah, you guys aren't going to throw anything at me. And then she throws, like, oh, yeah. t-shirts at the crowd. That was funny. Yeah, yeah we, we has... covered it. She had a t-shirt yeah. gun and she shot yeah. it out in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah, Dude, that that's a funny. common thing. That's a common thing for her. She's had that like every show. Like she would have like a t-shirt gun that she'd like 
but like throw a snatch at the crowd and stuff like that. Sometimes it malfunctions and goes back at her or just does goes on the floor. And so she's like, ah, oh, give me another one. So she tries another one. <laughs> if, if I was her, I'd, I'd like shoot out a couple of t-shirts and then throw in like a pickle or something. Like you a would. random you object. Would. <laughs> you would. <laughs> God bless it. I hope it's a yodeling pickle. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's yeah. the only kind of pickle I know of. <laughs> so 50 Cent apparently threw a microphone at a lady. What? Um, here, Drama Alert put out update 50 Cent sus uh, suspect and criminal battery after tossing Mike and hitting a fan in the head. Jesus. That looks like a lot of damage. Yeah. yeah. It looks like he threw it pretty hard. Yes, and this is him throwing it. Uh, the music's going on, so I'm just going to let it play mute. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. That's him actually taking the microphone and throwing it. He was mad when he's here. Throws his mix twice. Oh, Ooh, yeah, he, like, pelted it. Yeah, he, he pelted it. It wasn't, like, just tossing it. He pelted that mess. Yeah, she must have been pretty close because yeah. he didn't really get that much distance. Mm -hmm. Lord. Um, the game, uh, 50's fat ass dares to come to my city to hit a woman. Oh, my God. Ooh. Okay, all right, the game. Okay, the game. <laughs> 50 cents microphone hurling fiasco at LA concert really has the game PO'd as the bloody incident happened in his home turf. Uh, the game ripped 50 Thursday with a size jab. Your fat ass came to LA hitting women after getting wind of our report about the Power 106 host, uh, Brianna Monaghan, having her face cut and battered by the mic 50 angrily threw. Oh, wow. so he threw a, a second one. There was two mics then because that one's over the head throw. Like, that's, yeah. a, oh. that's a, a big throw. Mm -hmm. uh, the former G-Unit rapper has been in a Cold War with 50 for the better part of 15 years. Yes, they've been fighting for 15 years. They really, that's not a lie. And Brianna's injury seemed to have left things even icier. Wednesday's concert was a celebration of 50's debut album, although he brought out several guest stars, Nas, Chris Brown, Tyga, DaBaby. Uh, the party mood had been dampened as 50 is now a suspect in an LAPD criminal investigation. Damn. Lord have mercy. His attorney yeah. assures us his client would never intentionally use a mic as a weapon, but as you can clearly see, game ain't buying that for a second. Yeah. yeah i mean look at her face yeah yeah now like, what did he do it for like I, like i don't know what provoked this that's a good question i think yeah. um from from watching the clip with the um with the sound on like it sounded like the mic wasn't working or that something wasn't happening with the mic properly um so he got angry and frustrated at that and then just threw it so mm -hmm. I don't know if it was intentionally at the person in the crowd or not, but that's what I gathered from what I saw anyway. Like, he was just pissed mm -hmm. off that, like, the mic wasn't working. That's why he tried to get another one. Yeah. No, I suppose the other wow. one didn't work as well. So he just, yeah. Went so the tits off him. Yeah. Uh, a 30-year-old be so hilarious, but it's too far gone for 50 and Ja. Oh, 50 and Ja Rule are still fighting? What? Yeah. This oh my I god, mean. this is so old. Why are they this still I mean. fighting? Ja Rule. Yeah, they've, they've got so much beef everywhere with 50. Like, everyone's got beef with 50. Like, and it's like decades old. It's okay, insane. but can we say something about Ja Rule? Ja Rule's great. Okay, as the old school head here, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> ja Rule always needed somebody else on the track for the track to be a hit. Yeah. All right. Every yeah. song that he did that everybody loved, it was never just Ja Rule. He yeah. always had to have mm -hmm. somebody else on the track with him. Ja Rule is a joke. Is a joke. Uh, 50 yeah. Cent said during this, um, look at this shithead. He's supposed to be Jesus. What the fuck? You can't make this shit up. LOL, so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Uh, I mean, he ain't wrong. He's actually, yeah, he's actually tied up to a pole. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. And that'd then, be the chance to. That'd be the time to throw a mic at him. Jaw rule. We ain't forgot. Enjoy this criminal charges and lawsuit, dickhead. Oh, so Jaw rule <laughs> said that we ain't forgot. Enjoy those. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Ja rule. That's, del that's deleted. 
as well. Like he actually put oh. that up and then deleted it. So it was on Instagram and then he took it down. Yeah, it says here Ja Rule responds <laughs> to 50 Cent after 50 called his performance so stupid. So. so what was the actual, do you know the actual, what the beef was between those two at all? I, I don't remember how the beef started. No. I know, yeah. well, I, hate each other. I know, um, oh God, what was the name? It wasn't Death Row. Death Row was West Coast. Um, mm -hmm. It was the record, the record company that he was with was fighting with like, uh, Ja Rule started with Eminem. Like he went at Eminem yeah. mm -hmm. and it eventually ended up with 50 cents against Ja Rule. Because Ja right. Rule got shut, oh. Ja Rule got shut down so hard with a song that Fifty with that that Eminem he he got shut down in the song where Eminem Fifty Cents and uh, Busta Rhymes was on. Oh my oh. God, he it was it was <laughs> it was murder. It was. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. That song was amazing. But they've been fighting ever since. They've been fighting wow. ever, because Fifty Cent he he's petty as hell. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's petty as hell. So, yeah, they're still fighting. Oh my God, twenty years later. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like Hatfields and McCoys up in here. Good God. <laughs> oh, 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 finally. This yeah. next story. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Justin, Los Angeles judge sentences that '70s show da um, actor Danny Masterson to. 30 years to life in prison for rape of two women. Ooh. Thank yes. God. Get in. Get in. 30 years to life. Yep. That's like almost like a murder, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, he got away with it for so long. He has a lot of time to he certainly make up did. for. Um, okay. Uh, that 70 so actor Danny Masterson was sentenced Thursday to at least 30 years in prison for raping two women at his home for um, at his home two decades ago. The U.S. actor was convicted in May of drugging then raping fellow members of the Church of Scientology between 2001 and 2003 at his home in the swanky Hollywood Hills area of Los Angeles. It was the second rape trial for Masterson, 47. God, he's he's my age. After previous proceedings were declared a mistrial in November when a different jury was unable to reach unanimous decision. The jury in the retrial deadlocked on another rape charge against a third woman. The charge was dismissed. Masterson has been in custody awaiting sentencing since the conviction. The three women at the heart of the charges against Ma Masterson were members of the Church of Scientology at the time. Two of them said church officials had discouraged them from contacting law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yes, of, of course. course. Masterson lawyers, in closing arguments, questioned why the court had heard so much about Scientology, and the defense has suggested that bias against the church could have been a motivating factor. The Church mm -hmm. of Scientology criticized the notion that it had tried to silence the complaints. The church has no policy prohibiting or discouraging members from reporting criminal conduct, conduct of anyone, Scientology, t Scientologists or not, to law enforcement, a statement said. Quite the opposite. Church policy explicitly demands Scientologists to abide by all the laws of the land. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Pull the other one, dickheads. Right. <laughs> So, yes, he finally got 30 years. Let's go. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank God. Deserved. No, absolutely. 100%. 100%. Okay. So, the next story, and this is a story that everybody is talking about. Mm hmm Everybody's talking about this. And I, I don't know. People wanted me to jump on it, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know. At the time when people were telling me about it, I didn't know that this had happened. Because I hadn't mm -hmm. started seeing it yet. And now it's like, right. whoa. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's sick. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so drama alert put out, this is disgusting. Family vlogger, eight passengers, arrested for child abuse after her child crawled out of the window with signs of him being tied up without food and water. So we're going <sighs> to listen to this. Child abuse. Court documents show Ruby Frankie from the Family Channel 
Eight passengers has been arrested after her child climbed out of a window and asked a neighbor for food and water. Officers say there were signs that he had been tied up. The child was taken to a hospital and his siblings are now in DCFS care. Frankie is being held without bail. You know what? That's so sad. Can you imagine? Yeah. yeah. The fact that she is promoting all that stuff with that woman um, that she's got that show with at the moment as well. Um, what's a yeah that lady <laughs> she's like promoting like um you know like healthy ways to um like um talk to your children how to be a good parent and what you do in family situations like she's promoting like you know herself in that sort of light whereas like behind the scenes she's just like being the most horrible hateful person towards her own children like you saw that in all, like most of her um vlogs and whatever that she did like in the past like you know 10 5 10 years or whatever like she would be doing horrible stuff to her kids like manipulation and making them feel horrible and like yeah like it, it, oh, it's the most like disgusting shit i've ever seen to be honest like from yeah. a parent like doing those like family vlogging sort of stuff and then yeah. like so glad that she's Right. So the BBC News says Ruby Frank, eight passengers, parenting mom, arrested on child abuse suspicion. The Utah woman who ran a popular parenting advice YouTube channel is facing child abuse charges after her malnourished son escaped from home, officials said. Um, mm -hmm. Ruby Frank and her business partner Jody Nan Hildebrandt. Ooh, yep, that's her. That's the name. Were arrested in Ivan's, Utah this week. Officials also found Miss Frank's 10-year-old daughter in a malnourished condition at her partner's house. Both women were charged with six counts of child abuse Friday. Wait, I I don't understand. Why is yeah. the other woman being charged? Because um the other kid was at the her part like at her house as well. Oh, she was, oh, oh. she's her partner. Yeah, as in business partner. Yeah. Oh. Okay. See, this is why people need to stop calling their significant others their partners. It's confusing. Yeah, because I, I was yeah. getting confused, too. I was getting confused, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Both women were charged six counts child abuse Friday. The BBC has contacted Miss Frank and Miss Hildebrandt for comment. Police says Miss Frank's 12-year-old son climbed out of the window and ran to a neighbor's house to ask for food and water. The calling party, the neighbor, stated the juvenile appeared to be emancipated and malnourished with open wounds and duct tape around the extremities, according Jesus. to a statement from the... Oh, my God! Upon yeah, arrival, horrible. law enforcement observed the wounds and the malnourishment of the boy to be severe. Oh, the, my God. The boy had to be taken to the hospital due to his deep lacerations from being tied up with rope from his malnourishment. Miss Frank, it's very sad. Miss Frank's ten-year-old daughter was also taken to the hospital. Officials later obtained a search warrant in connection with the incident, and in total, four children were taken into care of family and child services, according to the statement. On Friday, Washington County officials in Utah formally charged Miss Frank and Miss Hildebrandt. The charges stem from alleged abuse of two children in three different ways. Physical abuse, malnutrition, and severe emotional harm. Each <sighs> count carries a prison sentence for up to 10 years and a fine up to $10,000, Washington County officials said. Um, Miss Frank, 41, became YouTube famous 2015 for a channel called Eight Passengers uh, that discussed parenting with six children. Uh, two million subscribers, don't care. Uh, the, the vlogger has faced back backlash in the past for her strict parenting measures described on the channel, including her son claiming he slept on a beanbag for several months as punishment, and Miss Frank describing withholding meals as another disciplinary measure. That was yes. that whole beanbag thing. Like, mm -hmm. she actually literally, like, this was after he went to that, um, it's like this Mormon place where you, like, um, go send your children to like straighten up and stuff like that and like it um it basically like it gets them out in the wilderness and whatever so um, after he came back from that he she took away his bedroom for seven months and he was sleeping on the floor on a beanbag in the lounge area for that long oh my god wow 
It's disgusting. Absolutely. Yeah, and I remember the one video, this is what I always think about when I think of her, is the video where she's explaining how her kindergarten child was in charge of packing her own lunch. And if she didn't pack it, then she she would tell the teachers not to give her food at school. Yeah, she was six years old. Yeah. She was six years old. Who, what six-year-old child can look after themselves enough to make their food every day? Yeah. Yeah, that's messed mm -hmm. up. Yeah. yeah, I've like heard that like the the oldest daughter takes care of like all the kids. Well, she's actually a, like she did at the time, I guess, but like she's mm -hmm. away at like um, college or something like that. The same with the older brother. So like now, I guess the teenagers or the younger mm -hmm. kids are all on their own, and this is what's happened to them. But, oh, it's gross! It's so heartbreaking to hear that. Yeah. Uh, according to a report in the Salt Lake Tribune, Miss Hildebrandt was put on probation for eighteen months and nearly lost her license. Uh, to be a pornography addiction therapist after publicly discussing a patient without his permission. Miss Frank's <laughs> eldest daughter, Sherry Frank, shared a post on Instagram after her mother's arrest saying that she and her family are so glad justice is being served. Uh, we've been trying to tell the police and CPS for years about this and so glad they finally decided to step up. Miss Frank has requested an attorney and did not speak to officers according to the Associated Press. The attorney has not publicly been identified on Thursday. Damn! If, 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 just the fact that it took that long. Mm -hmm. It Especially basically, like, it, took a, it took a baby to escape and go ask for help. Yeah. Yeah. When there were so many red flags that this is what I hate about stories like this. It's like, this shows how flawed our system is. Well, the sad thing is, is there was flags on the channel. Yeah. On the YouTube channel. Right yeah. there. But it takes a child climbing out a window for CPS to actually step in, and it's disgusting. Oh, my God. Um, it said here the beanbag incident led some viewers to call local child protective services, though Miss Frank claimed to Insider the incident had been taken out of context. Well, <laughs> what was the context? <laughs> What was the context? Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> right. Jesus. Because, like, when that came out, like, it was, um, they were sitting, like, on the floor and they were having, like, a little family vlog thing together um, next to the sun. And, like, when he mentioned it, she was like, oh, our, a big smile came on her face and she was kind of like, oh, our viewers don't know about that. And she was like, oh, shit, something's caught out, you know? Like, she got a little bit worried about it. And then, oh, my God. To say that's out of context is, like, rot. <laughs> um, Ruby Fink's sister, Bonnie, insists the family did as much as we could to protect the kids. Um, nah. Ru uh, Ruby Fink's sister, Bonnie, insisted that the family did as much as we could to protect these six kids from the alleged abuse they endured. Uh, Holland shared, which is the sister... Uh, an emotional YouTube video Thursday evening, which has since been made private, where she said that she and her siblings could have really anticipated the eight passenger star ar arrest this week. The sisters and I, we are on the very same page. And for the last three years, we have truly clung on to each other, offering support to one another. And I don't think any of us could have ever seen this coming, could have ever seen this coming. We what all did mean? as much as we could legally, but you don't know what you don't know. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so, well, here's my thing. You're not in their position. Like, I know what I would want to do i would want to go up in there and yolo and snatch those kids out yeah, yeah. but mm. at the same time th they could have gotten trouble for it for yeah. doing that yeah you know what i'm saying you can't yeah. do you want to do it right don't you but yeah that's that is, that's the thing Ugh. the thing is that why didn't they report them why didn't the family report them? That's what I'm wondering. Did the family report them? See, that's the thing. You don't see where... I know that the kids will be taken care of. She had it. I know the kids will be okay. But did y'all try to call? Yeah. And the not sound of, like it. In the caption of the video, it feels like a weight has been lifted as we know our nieces and nephews are safe. Uh, came in after siblings released... Okay. Holland's video came 
after the siblings released a joint statement explaining why they kept quiet about the alleged abuse. All right, forget the rest of this article. I want to click that. Yeah. Uh, Ruby Frank's sisters have spoken out in the wake of the mom and Fluorister's child abuse arrest, admitting they kept quiet about her for years. Taking to social media Thursday, Ellen Bonnie wrote that they opted to remain tight-lipped on the subject for the sake of their nieces and nephews. For the last three years, we have kept quiet on the subject of our sister, Ruby Frank, for the sake of our children. The, the trio wrote in a joy. Okay, whatever. Behind the public scene, we have done everything we could try and make sure the kids were safe. We wouldn't feel right about moving forward with the regular content without addressing the most re Oh, they were content creators too? Yeah, they're all content Aww. creators. All of them. Oh, no. Okay. Mm -mm. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Nope. Mm -mm. That's a whole nother layer to this nah. of why mm -mm. they wouldn't want it coming out. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. They concluded Ruby was arrested, which needed to happen. Her business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, was arrested, which needed to happen. The kids are safe now, which is the number one priority. Frank, we know about taking in custody. Uh, Ruby's estranged daughter, Sherry, also posted a photo on her Instagram story uh, of police outside of her mother's home writing, finally. How sad. This is just so sad. Uh, she later claimed that she and her family members were glad that her mom had been taken away. Today has been a big day. Me and my family are so glad justice is being served. We've been trying to tell the police and CPS for years about this. So glad they finally decided to step up. So they were telling police and CPS then. Hmm. The kids wish Sherry was. Sherry is like the oldest daughter. Hmm, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ruby's husband, Kevin Frank, is making sure the six kids are number one priority, his lawyer said. Um, attorney Randy Kester said that his client's urgent focus is simply to keep his children together under his, fa his fatherly care. See, I don't know about him either because any in, in any like interview or anything that they've had like um, sat down together, like both Ruby and the husband, mm -hmm. the husband's always been defending Ruby and the actions that she's done, like in front of the cameras and stuff like that, and like their vlogs. So I don't know about him either. I don't know if they're safe in anyone's hands. Well, to be honest, with mm -hmm. okay. Now this is a possibility. What if she was extremely abusive to him too? What if mm -hmm. allegedly? I would doubt it. But what if she was extremely abusive to him, too? Because I can tell you, if you're in that abusive situation, they and if they have you in your head, you know what I mean? If they mm -hmm. have you trapped in your mind, you just go with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. it might have been a situation like that. I could see it. She looks like a crazy controlling bitch in every video I've ever seen. Yeah. It's just, it's so, it's just, oh, I hate it. It's so sad, man. The fuck? Oh, stuff like this really pisses me off because I can't have kids and I would love to have kids and then seeing people who do have kids and they don't love them yeah. like just infuriates me to my core. Yeah. They use yeah. them. And that's like for her, that was her, her meal ticket is like using mm -hmm. her children on her on her channel. And yeah, like they these people that do this, like that are the family channels, it's like they completely stop seeing their kids as kids and they see them as a paycheck and that's it. Yeah. A hundred percent. Um, also Sherry Frank, one of the kids, posted all this. I'm glad they're out out of that nightmare. Holy shit. Okay, so Oh, there it is right there. Her saying finally. Hi all. Today has been a big day. Me and my family are so glad justice is being served. We've been trying to tell the police and CPS for years about this. And so glad they finally decided to step up. Kids are safe, but there there's a long road ahead. Please keep them in your prayers and also respect their privacy. Damn. And then she goes, I need your help. If you have links to any questionable or concerning connections or eight passengers videos, please DM them to me. It's too much for me to sort through myself. Get them. Get them. More specifically, connection stuff. We are aware of most of the eight passenger things already. Yeah, Get so them. connections connections was the um the business that Hildebrand and Ruby had together. So one of okay, so one of Ruby's kids was living with Hildebrandt? Oh, well they were found in Hildebrand Hildebrandt's property, also malnourished. Yeah. Jesus wow. Christ, bro. <sighs> All right, unreleased police scanner audio about Ruby Frank and the safe room 
Her children were locked in. What? Oh my yeah. god. This is a little bit distressing to hear as well. Just a little bit of a heads up that it's horrible. LT, there's a panic room inside the garage. Downstairs, underneath the garage. Yeah, he says you, it's kind of it's downstairs and it's underneath one of the garages, and he's calling it a safe room. He says he said something about Fort Knox, so I don't know if it has a Fort Knox door or safe on it, but that's what he's talking about. Oh my god! Oh my god! This will be a lifetime movie. Watch, they're gonna jump on this. Oh my god! This is horrible. Yeah. Like they would yeah. literally lock these kids up in a what? It's like flowers of matter. Out of the we can't yeah. get into it. My guess is that would be where they're at. He says it's a large room, it's a panic room. This one says Liberty Safe Company, it's got a big wheel on the front. I'm at the front door. On this case that we're working, we have the custodial parent of the child in the ER. She just came to our PD and then she took off and we said cops will talk to her in a second. So we're hoping maybe someone can go to the, or the cop at the ER can restrict access from her to her kids. Is that something you can relate to them? Her name is Ruby and her name should be in CAD comments. Damn. This needs to yeah. Yeah. So Damn. like she was already there when she was aware that the cops had come and she sprinted. Wow. wow. You know what? People who hurt kids have a special place in hell to go to. Yeah, that's right. Yep. That's gross, and I... You know what? I don't think 10 years per charge is enough. Oh, no, hell no. No, it's not. I just don't see how you can carry something inside of you for nine months and then give birth to it and have it, and then you just don't give a shit about it. That's like, what that's I just... don't understand. I don't understand because you literally end up having a little human in your body yeah. that is literally y'all are sharing something. You're literally sharing a life with each other. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And and you give birth to this human being and they depend on you. Mm -hmm. And you can literally shit like what? Like yeah. how? Yeah, I can't wrap my head around it at all. Like I th there's nothing in my head that can like relate to somebody like this. The only thing I'm going to say is she deserves something that I can't say because we're on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly. True. Honestly, anybody who hurts a child like that, you deserve what I can't say. Yeah. And to hurt your own child, like, that's just... Hurting like, a God. child in general is, like, yeah. unimaginable. But your own child, especially, I, I'm sorry, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be like all woman or whatever, but especially a child that you gave birth to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. How? I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. I absolutely yeah, there's something don't missing it. there. There's a missing yeah. link. Mm -hmm. in, in saying that as well, there has been like clips of like vlogs and stuff where she was looking after her like nephews as well. And she would be Ugh. yelling at them too. Like she'd like go line up and then all sort of stuff and then she's like all right you're all like she peeled a banana and said this is your snack and then you and like she goes all right line up behind this banana now take a bite go to the end of the line the next one take a bite go to the end of the line until the banana was finished and that was their snack God. how gross yeah. is that and that's not even to her kids yeah, like i've she... seen clips of her with her kids where she was mm -hmm. like you're not getting breakfast until you massage my back what, what? Yeah. Oh, God. What oh, the fuck? God. Bro. She sounds narcissistic as fuck. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she had kids just to have slaves. Yeah, that's, that's what, that's, that's what like. it is. Uh-huh. Oh, those poor babies. Those poor babies. She, I guarantee you, she fucked up some of them. She had to. Oh, yeah. They're going to be They'll be traumatized the rest of their lives. Yep, the rest of yeah. their life. Damn it. I hate that yeah, shit. Yeah, there's, um, there's, like, clips where, like, one of the boys, I don't know if it's the one that escaped or not. Um, he looked really young, though, but, like, she tries talking to him. She's like, well, you're not talking to me? And he's just ignoring her. Like, he can't talk to her. Yeah, Russell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Russell's the one that escaped and went to the next door uh -huh. neighbor. You know what? I'm so baby. glad that baby escaped. And I'm so glad yeah. that baby got to a neighbor who called. And I, I hate the fact that it happened to that baby, but it, I'm just glad it's over. I'm just glad it's yeah. over.
for that. And think about how brave he had to be to do that. Yes. There's no telling what she had in his head for, like, if you tell anybody any of this, like, he was probably scared shitless just of, like. Imagine how desperate he was to do that. Exactly. Imagine his desperation to go, you know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. Yeah. That that takes a lot for a little kid. Exactly. All of that mental abuse that they suffered as well, like, they they literally thought that everything that was happening to them is because it was their fault. Oh, God, so sad. That's so gross. I hate her. Fuck people, yo. Fuck that. Fuck yeah. that. She mm-hmm. deserves more. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I know what you're I'm, thinking, and I agree. I'm not getting the broadcast taken off YouTube. I'm not getting no. the broadcast taken off YouTube, but you know what you I mean, audience? Say, yeah. Light mm-hmm. them up. Yep. I agree. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, in not as bad news, but I don't know, it's kind of weird what's going on with this too. Uh mm-hmm. Chrissy and Rock has finally had her child and she did it live on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Oh. How special. Oh. <sighs> Okay, so uh, Blueface goes off on Chrissy and Rock for having her booking info into her baby's Instagram bio for smoking cigarettes during her pregnancy. Oh, my God. Baby got an Instagram with booking email in the bio two days old. He taking bookings already. This lady had a baby for clout. Damn shame. Blueface. Okay. Blueface. (sighs) Let me tell you something. Blueface is not the innocent party he likes to act like. Mm-hmm. At all. Um, I don't know if it's in here because I didn't see a head. Oh, look at that baby. That's, That's a beautiful, beautiful baby. Yeah. Look how beautiful that child looks. That is a pretty baby. Yeah. Look at that face. Aww. All right. This mofo here, he is not, they have caught him several times where he'll get, like, his baby, his other baby mama to drink, and he'll act like he's drinking with her and not drink with her. They caught him on the show. He did the same thing to Christian. Jeez. He is not, mm mm-mm. He is not as innocent. Like, she's crazy. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Christian, Mm -hmm. she's crazy as hell, okay? She really is. But he is not sane either. Well, she didn't used to be like that, right? Wasn't she the one that she did like good in school and stuff? And like, I think she had a scholarship or something, if I'm thinking of the right person. And I think when she got with him, she like turned into who she is now. I think. I I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I really don't know. All I know is they are very, very, very toxic with each other. Mm -hmm. Very toxic. Like, they don't need to be around each other at all. Um, Blueface speaks on Chrissy and giving birth in Baltimore and how she manipulated him and the public to feel sympathy for her. All right. Speak out, but I had to speak out. Christian Rock is a fucking genius. I'm not going to take that from her. I'm going to tell you why she's a genius. Because she's, she's, she knows how to manipulate. So she manipulated me to thinking that she was all about me because she was out of desperation, right? So that's why when she got into a position, she kind of tried to discredit everything I did, right? Granted, all right? Because I was confused. I'm like, damn, you used to say so much great things about me now. I can't do this for four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be There's honest with you. That's all right. There's a part in there, though, where he um says that it's basically that she planned um that to be in baltimore to have that child because um she knew the week that she was going to be giving birth um she knew when it was going to happen that sort of stuff like she planned it because she was um looking out for hospitals that would actually allow um videotaping and live streaming the actual birth so she he claims that she scouted that out and tried to be as far away from him as possible and do all that behind his back so he wasn't going to be there i want to be honest with you when it comes to those two, I never know who to believe. 
mm. because they are both so toxic. Like she smacked him, I want to say with a pan, but she smacked oh. him, smacked him with something where he ended up with a gouge in the back of his head. Holy crap! Genius. Yes, they're both very toxic, and they're both. Um, I don't know who to believe. I'm gonna be honest because they're both like they do not need to be. They don't even need to be in the same room with each other. Yeah, and still honestly, being that toxic. Yeah, they are toxic just, as hell with each other, and that's what worries me for that kid. Mm-hmm. I just looked it up, and she is the one I was thinking of. But when she was in high school and stuff, she like excelled in sports, and they said she had a promising, like, she was on a promising path for uh, track and field. Damn. And yeah, and oh she my was like, God, dude. so fit looking. Yeah, looking at the pictures, like. She looks nothing like what she looks like now. Bless her heart. I, they're just they're just bad together. They are really, really, really bad together. Mm-hmm. They. Mm-mm. Uh, Chrissy and Rock speaks on not wanting Blueface in the delivery room. So this is before uh, she had the baby, obviously. Yeah. So. Hmm. You cannot be there while I'm pushing the baby out. I'm sorry. That shit is for like, that shit is intentional. That shit is intense. I need love, real love. I don't need a nigga Ray whip a camera out because his career is dying. Like, I need a real, I just need real love. I'm setting boundaries. Of course, you can see your kid. Of course, whatever. So he's saying she did it intentional so she could get the clout, and she's saying here that no, you're. I don't want you in the delivery room. Yeah. So again, he says she said. Which one was it? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. These two, they irritate the hell out of me. The both of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes Blueface's mom. (laughs) Blueface mom speaks on him not being there with Christian Rock while she was giving birth. The birth didn't even want the baby. And that's why I said we gotta, as women, we gotta respect because just like if she would have said she didn't want the baby, we have to respect the woman's or the man's right to choose. Now he gonna be a daddy, but he wasn't finna be her man in that room and jeopardize what he possibly, the person he might be spending the rest of his life with. So we gotta honor and respect when we put ourselves in these type of situations. We got to honor and respect the outcome. We got to put on our big girl panties and realize we slept with a dude that already had a ready-made family and he can't come over here and pay, play like this because that's, that's, that would destroy his foundation over there. So he can't come over here and play house with this baby if she want me to pull up and be on his behalf until he get there, I got you. But he can't do, he can't go against the person that's had him for the last 10 years. It's, Oh, but he didn't have her for the last 10 years when he stepped out on her, though, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, see, his mom... This whole story gonna get me canceled. I'm gonna tell you what. (laughs) This is why I don't even talk about these fools. I... mm -mm. It's bigger than that. So y'all got to understand that. You gotta respect it. You gotta respect his decisions in life because just like she had a right to choose, he got a right to choose, too. (laughs) now do that mean he don't love his child absolutely not but do not mean he don't love his child (sighs) oh oh this 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 here this is wild mom now that's the same woman that was just talking claims Mm -hmm. that christian and blueface are cousins (laughs) <laughs> mm-hmm. and she oh, has God. done told the world that they are cousins no uh-huh. listen this this uh, mm, mm. i knew something was going on come to find out Prashan mama is a dorsey Prashan, she a dorsey oh, sorry Krishan. i've been saying christian so they me. related to me they're my people Girl, if them Dorseys, Dorseys, you, come on now, you know, all the Dorseys is related. And they all act like that. They all strong and and, and, and act like that. John done had a baby with his cousin. He did. I bet you we need to test the baby. The baby is probably, that's why the baby had our DNA. Shut the fuck up. <laughs>
That's why the baby had our DNA. Do you think maybe it has your DNA because your son made that baby? I don't think she understands what DNA yeah. is. <laughs> I like how her friend or whatever is just like, shut up. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Y'all think I'm playing? This could be real. Do you think maybe the DNA that passed, your DNA that passed that baby could have been because your son helped made that baby? I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. This, can we just throw away that whole family? Keep the baby. Yeah. But, I mean, throw away the whole family. Just throw away all of them. Oh. <laughs> oh <Lord. laughs> no. Why am I seeing Charleston White? <laughs> He's always up to something. I think you did this because of me. <laughs> Eva set me up. I, okay, when do I ever care what Charleston White got to say about something? I mean, uh, he's in the docket all the time. Eva you? did this on purpose. <laughs> Eva set me up. This is your favorite guy. I can't mm -hmm. stand this dude. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, let's go. I want to put up $5,000 that Blueface and Christian Rock have a retarded baby. <laughs> well, let him, oh, let him cook. I can't tell you how much I hate this man. Let's put Nick in this now. Come on, now, Zilly. I got $5,000 that Christian Rock and Blueface have a retard baby. Baby gonna be dumb in the motherfucker. They go they, they not gonna have a healthy baby. Like I got bets on it right now. I got two thousand I got a side bet that the baby don't make it. I got two I got a oh, two thousand dollars. You okay, that's see, that's why I don't like that motherfucker. Why would you put that on a child? Yeah, that that was too far. Why would you put that on a child? Side bet yeah. that they baby don't make it. <laughs> I got, I too wanna... And laughing about it. That's gross. Yeah, he's This is why I can't stand this man. Who, who want to take these goddamn bit? Say no. I got 5000 Okay, fuck you. I don't give a fuck yeah. what you got. <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay. Blueface been on this app crashing out at 3 a.m. tweeting and deleting. Christian, Chris, Chrisan, or what, Christian. Uh, really I like did, the way you say it better. What, Christian? <laughs> yeah, I Yeah, I, that's prettier. Uh, really did a number on him. All right, blue face. Here I hold my one day old baby while I work out. Ass bitch, shake my head. In the first forty eight hours, the baby been held or touched by twenty different people. Every time I check my phone, it's a new person holding the baby. My kid not fit to be molested and touched on like everybody in her family. Dead homies. I don't play them type games. If she don't take my son serious and make her make that her main focus and a a, a priority. Oh my God, bro! Make, <laughs> if she don't take my son serious and make that her main focus and priority for at least thirty days, I will file for custody. You've been warned. I just want to say I'm over these people. <laughs> I don't ever listen. I'm gonna be honest. Unless something, like, really super bad. I do not want to talk about no Christine Rock or Blueface ever again. Because I yeah. throw them both away. I, I, the baby is beautiful, though. That baby is yeah. the cutest little thing. That baby was so beautiful. That baby yeah. is adorable. But the parents, un unfortunately, I they're so toxic. They do not need to be around each other. Mm -mm. Nah. 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 No, that stuff can't continue when the baby starts growing up. No. Like they need to they need to settle their shit or one person needs to just put throw their hands up and leave. Period. One person yeah. being blue faced. <laughs> Period. Um so I mean anything else that we want to talk about or anything? Uh I got nothing. No, I, I think I think we're good. Unless you want to talk about that diarrhea on a plane, which I don't really want to. I do. Yeah. You know what? I'm kind of glad you didn't do that on there because I'm not trying to pitch your diarrhea on a plane. What? <laughs> I've had it with this motherfucking diarrhea on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> and there we go. We talked about it. Bunny did the, the, did the perfect. There you go. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Hell yeah. How can you Okay, I will say this about the diarrhea on the plane. How can that much shit come out of a human being? I know. <laughs> Like, See, that was, like, like, a month's worth of food coming out. I want to point just... one thing out about it. Did y'all read the comments of any of the articles about it? Because it made the weirdos come out. No. Oh, no. my God. It was just filled with people being like, oh, I bet it smelled so good. Oh, I wish I was there. And I was like, y'all okay. need to go back and yep. hide. And... Uh... You see? <laughs> and that's that was... why we didn't talk about it. There yeah, we go, you... folks. You see, I don't, I don't torture myself like that. <laughs> exactly. Holy crap. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Bro, ew. All right. Um, I guess, Bunny, take us out. Well, thank y'all for watching. This episode was a freaking roller coaster. Uh, make sure y'all like and comment and share it with your friends or your or your neighbor or maybe even your doctor. I don't know. Yeah, and, and don't stressful. poop on a plane. Oh yeah, don't do, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> All right, ladies, say goodbye to the audience. Bye bye. 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 with this motherfucking diarrhea on this motherfucking plane.